Well, here we are down in the shop and it is time to start thinking about the bracing and whatnot for the back. So what we need to do is go over here where we've got the go bars on the back strip uh, because I glued it in place just before I went outside to show you the, the walkway and, and get this wall all waterproofed. So what we'll do is we'll go over there and take that off and then I'll come back here and explain what is up next. What do you say we do that right now? So there is the back that we sanded down flush with the shell in the back and it looks terrific. It really does. It's going to be it will pop very nice. I'm telling you, it's it's really gorgeous. So there's the back strip that is holding this all together. And then we're going to take and then cut these braces in here along here and in this direction here like this. And I'll show you that shortly. But what we need to do first is we need to sand this all down. This is my little sanding jig. And this is simply a six inch piece of wood. It's a piece of mahogany. And all I've done here, or all we've done here, is this is curved similar to uh, the curve on a rolling pin or something else. And it's going to go down on here like this. So when I sand this down, it's going to put a nice arch on this, which will look terrific. Now, before we do that, what we do is we get a hold of our little dispenser. Now... Some of you have asked about this dispenser and what it is. This is simply a two by four. This is another two by four. I've got a rubber pad on the bottom so it doesn't move around and then two sides. This is simply a piece of metal tubing. It's aluminum tubing and that's it. And the cutter here that I've got glued in place, I've screwed it through the actual piece here and then I've just held it in place here. This is a, a broken hacksaw blade and so I just put that down there and it works just like a charm. It's, it's, you know, it's really great. So what we do with this is we very carefully put this tape so when we're sanding and we get close we're going to rub on the tape not on the actual guitar. So we, we're not going to hurt the back of the guitar or make a mess of it. So that's what we have. We got the green tape running up the side here now. I'm using an 80 grit paper. I've got the curved part to go down on the sawdust. Now you have the option of taking this right down so that the sides come flush to this like right to it or you could leave a little bit of a a lip of maybe a sixteenth or a thirty second of an inch on the side whatever you decide okay well that should be it for me today I'm going to finish this off I would have a cup of tea right now except I spill it all over the glass table because I tried to pick up the cup with one hand and I realized that I have now regressed to the point of a one-year-old where I need to get a sippy cup so what I'm going to be doing is getting a, a mug with a seal on the top so that I can pick it up with one hand and put it down with one hand. It's the only solution I have short of cutting off my hand. And I don't think that would be a good idea because it's very hard to strum a guitar without your fingers. So what do you say we check out the links down below? I would like to hear some tips from you regarding uh, safety in the shop. Let's make that a regular seg segment because I think it's really important. It's very important actually. So we've got work going on outside there. And when they come and dig that out, I'm gonna show you that if I can, if they'll allow me to do that. And you'll see what that's all about. And then what we'll do is we'll come back because we're very soon gonna be putting the cross pieces on here. And then we're ready to go and put that onto our back. So we're, we're making great progress, really good stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button if you, if you do like this. And by all means, let me hear from you, even if you don't like it. All right, thanks friends, bye for now.